Welcome to the MDU Solutions module. In this module, we will cover the essential building blocks of a communication network for a connected home or small commercial space. Downtown landscapes are changing to incorporate entire communities of high-rise condominiums that offer a full range of services, including home office connections and large common areas that offer a variety of on-site retail outlets. In-home networking now means more than simple access to the Internet. Homeowners demand multiple access points, remote audio and visual entertainment controls, online access to pay utility bills, remote monitoring of home conditions, and many other services. These applications provide convenience for residents and also require flexibility and performance in the network infrastructure. MDU solutions are designed to create a fully integrated network environment that supports all current and emerging communication and video entertainment applications. As the needs of the mixed-use market grow and new applications are added, the network must provide easy-to-use, expandable, high-quality performance. Here is an illustration of some of the products in the MDU solution that meet the application demands for today's voice, video, and high-speed data network architecture that can be used in a small commercial space such as retail or small office space. Coaxial, UTP, and fiber optic cables provide support for voice and data networking and wireless access in the retail commercial space. This graphic details the products that we offer for network integration of audio and video in a home theater system using coaxial, UTP, and audio cables. Many systems today employ CAT5e, CAT6, and CAT6a cables for audio distribution and a growing technology known as IPTV, online TV through the Internet, which does not depend on shared bandwidth. Coaxial, UTP, audio cables, and multimedia connectors provide a superior quality home theater experience. Here, we show the total connectivity solutions for Internet sharing and voice telephony. A wide variety of styles and colors of panels and outlets are available that allow convenient telephone and Internet access for all units. MDU solutions also offer reliable products that are used in everyday broadcast systems such as cable TV, satellite, HDTV, and IPTV. Coaxial cables and connectors assist in maintaining reliable cable and satellite broadcasts throughout the residence. In addition to the products available for residences and small commercial spaces, a full solution for enterprise networks such as main distribution facilities, central offices, network utility rooms, and data centers are available. Home security systems offer peace of mind by giving you the ultimate control of your safety and security. Advanced security systems allow you to monitor every aspect of your business or home, encompassing security cameras and modulators for easy multi-TV distribution. Sequencers allow a single TV to see all cameras. With the use of IP-based cameras, viewing all cameras on the web is possible from anywhere. Coaxial, UTP, in addition to fiber optic cables and connectors, allow quality CCTV and security or surveillance transmissions. Since the post-war boom of the early 1950s, the average consumer has been treated to various concepts of the home of the future. Since the 1960s Super House of the Jetsons, visions of the future home have emphasized automation and convenience. As a result, technology has been regarded primarily as a means of mechanizing day-to-day -day tasks that have traditionally been performed manually. Today, that elusive home of the future is suddenly coming into sharper focus as wired and wireless systems set entirely new standards of convenience by allowing devices to be connected to one another as well as to the world outside. The term connected home describes this collection of equipment linked throughout the house or office. These devices can include anything from wireless routers, televisions, DVRs, computers, CCTV, and printers to household appliances of every sort. With a fully connected home, the boundaries between you and your community, your work, your family, and your entertainment choices simply begin to disappear your home or unit becomes much more accessible. 
Many of the latest technologies are becoming wireless enabled, but although some of these can be used in this way, hardwiring is still more reliable and more practical in some areas. Some devices cannot be wireless, such as satellite dishes where conventional coaxial cable still needs to be run to the decoder, or telephones that have to connect at some point to an external connection. So what needs to be enabled is a wiring system coupled with wireless technology that can be adaptable to what we want to connect to, with ports in the right place. From your mobile phone today, it is possible to check or set your home's alarm system, monitor fire and intruder detection from the office, setting your heating and cooling systems to be active when you're home and inactive when you're asleep or away. Spot heat or cool certain parts of your house. Adjust lighting for ambience, activities, or for varying needs throughout the day. These devices all need cabling or connections to them. So, does anything change when we look at our offices or workplaces when it comes to having connections to all our devices? Maybe some. The telephones become more complex, usually with a switch somewhere. The amount of PCs hardwired may increase, and the printer will also probably be bigger, or there may be more of them. You may also have an intercom entry system. So these all need management in a way that is easy to administer. Making your retail unit or small office connected is a matter of installing a network, similar to the one that you might find installed in a large office, but much simpler. Residential and multi-dwelling unit or MDU wiring has been developed for this purpose, which is known as structured wiring. The connected home's true potential is based on the power of high-speed data communications. Although products are available that allow limited connections among some of the above-mentioned devices through existing phone jacks, wirelessly, or through the electrical wiring, these schemes lack the ability to fully utilize today's powerful and sophisticated multimedia communications. Today's voice, data, and video applications require faster and more voluminous data rates than the traditional wiring infrastructure can handle. Structured wiring is, as the name suggests, structured throughout the house or retail unit or office to all the areas that could require a connection. Each position could have an outlet plate with three or four connections in it, wired back to a patch panel in the service center that would also have all the main electronics inside. By patching between the electronic devices like an old-fashioned telephone exchange, different services can be provided over the cables to the outlets. For example, one cable connects telephone or data outlets. Another accommodates internal and external video sources, such as closed-circuit cameras or cable television. You choose which devices you want in each room or area. So using standardized media and layout, cabling is designed and installed as a total system throughout the building. Standard design connection interfaces are used too, so there is nothing bespoke about the parts being installed, meaning that this system can use any manufacturer's compatible electronics as long as it complies to the consistency and flexibility of structured cabling. Here is a typical service center. This particular one has data and telephones. Structured cabling allows the panels to be as simple or as complex as the customer desires. In the service center, here at the top, you see a patch panel. This would have connections from modular jacks located throughout the house. Because this is structured cabling, any jack may be used for data or phone. By patching to the appropriate panel, either service could be provided at the port. Notice here, blue and red patch cords are being used. The red ones are for data and the blue ones for the telephones. Also, there is a white cable that is the incoming cable from the voice provider. The telephone concentrator here would have the same incoming voice line connected through a panel, allowing any phones to connect directly to the outside line. If this was in a small office, one of those ports could be to a fax machine or even a card reader. This is true flexibility. Despite efforts at consolidation, phone, internet, and video connections still generally arrive over multiple media. Plus, there is growing use of wireless technology. 
This creates some connectivity issues for the connected home and also other multiple dwelling units (MDUs) such as apartments and condos, and at multi-user commercial structures such as office complexes and strip malls. Literally dozens of network interface units or NIUs could be attached to alley walls. Ideally, a centralized access point would eliminate the need for literally thousands of meters or feet of drop cable, while providing the basis for a manageable interior wiring scheme. Such a solution would have to permit connection to twisted pair, coaxial, both CATV and satellite, and fiber cable. The TIA 570 standard addresses residential wiring and the range of cable types used in residences. In a home environment, it may be that the digital TV needs to be distributed throughout the house. Alongside the structured UTP cabling, coax could also be run to each of the prospective outlets. By using coax patch cords, TV can be streamed to the required outlet. Alternatively, technology now allows coaxial interfaces to be converted to UTP to be run over structured cabling by using a ballon at each end. You may very well say that many devices these days are becoming wireless, and a wired solution is not needed. Look at some of the devices on this slide. Those on the right either have to be hardwired or will perform better if they are. All of the wireless devices on the left, apart from the mobile phone, actually need to have a hardwired device to be able to function. So the number of wireless technologies may be growing, but there still has to be a hardwired base for them to operate. The Residential Telecommunications Infrastructure Standard (TIA 570-C), published by the Telecommunications Industry Association (TIA), provides specifications for grades of cabling, installation, termination, and testing for residential voice, data, and video wiring. The cabling system designed and installed within each individual unit of an MDU should follow the practices detailed in ANSI TIA 570 in the U.S. and Sanlac EN 5173-4 in Europe, or ISO IEC 15018 internationally. The Electronics Industries Association (EIA) has established EIA IS-60 as the standard for whole house automation over multiple media, specifically for twisted pair and coaxial cables. This standard is also known as the Consumer Electronics Bus or CE Bus. Shown here is the structure of the generic cabling system in homes and MDUs. Connections to external networks for the provision of external telecommunication services are made at external network interfaces or ENIs. These connections may require different cabling media, balanced twisted pair, coaxial or optical fiber cabling, depending on the service provider. The location of ENIs, if present, and the facilities required may be specified by national, regional, and local regulations. The connection between an ENI and the home distributor or distribution device, or HDDD enclosure, is known as network access cabling. The choice of network access cabling will depend on the services required. The provision of incoming telecommunication services, such as telephony, data, and video, may require different cabling media for the backbone. The choice of backbone cabling media will depend on the required supported applications. This table provides a list of potential MDU applications and their typical supported cabling media. Hence, the most commonly installed backbone cabling is balanced twisted pair and coaxial cabling. However, this is largely dependent on the design of the MDU premises. Some large high-rise complexes may have backbone distances that exceed the application distances supported by copper cabling. In these cases, optical fiber cabling will be required. The respective service provider should be consulted regarding this requirement. Many of the applications listed in the table can be supported with the Comscope solutions. The objective of designing a system is to determine what parts to order and help plan the installation by specifying where the components will be installed. 
To accomplish this, the homeowners or someone acting in their behalf must answer questions about what services will be present and how they will be used. Some of these questions are quite simple. For example, how many phone lines do you have? But some require thought and planning. It is normally a three-step procedure which leads to a completely specified wiring system. Step 1 is an interview with the customer in which we gather information from them about how they expect to use their house. This step should be kept at a fairly high level and requires direct interaction with the customers to understand their needs and wishes. The customers need not be present for the remaining two steps. In Step 2, you will identify the MDU unit components needed to provide the services identified by the interview. Step 3 is to complete a detailed connection worksheet which specifies all cable runs and outlet configurations. At the end of this three-step process, you should have all the information needed to identify and order all materials for the system. That completes the MDU Solutions Module. Thank you.